Timeline for the Environmental Watch. Here's your presenter, Dennis Springer. What we call planet Earth has entered an era in which all issues, environment, development, security, economics, are all globally connected. Yet most of our institutions that deal with these issues are independent, fragmented, working in relative narrow mandates with closed decision processes. Global threats like climate change and global warming from the buildup of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are seriously affecting how we live on Earth. As we enter the effects of a severe drought in St. Lucia, I am forced to ask the question, why has government or the authorities responsible for water services still sit back and simply have done very little to mitigate the seriousness and the implications that this present drought will have on all areas of the economy. Drought has a severe effect on the topsoil as the soil dries up, thereby taking a very long time to recover when the rains come. And not only that, because the soil is so dry, a sudden burst of very heavy rain will certainly cause a flood or will wash so much of the topsoil away that the silt in the dam will certainly make it unpleasant for those responsible in the desilting process and may add another few years to the cleaning process. What we must all be cognizant of is what if the land suddenly stops giving because it has not recovered from a severe drought, then what? And with that, we come to the end of the CTV News. Thank you so much for watching on Calabash TV and for listening to us on the Wave Radio 94.5. I'm Lisa Joseph, saying goodbye.